I'm about to give you guys a quiz that absolutely every baseball player should ace. Okay, the ball is hit in the air and it's between the second baseman and the right fielder. Now, it's a super high pop-up. Both of them are capable of catching the ball, but the second baseman is a little bit closer than the right fielder. Whose ball is it? Is it A, the right fielder? or B, the second baseman. If both players are able to catch the ball, even if the second baseman is closer, the answer is A, the right fielder. This is because of the pop-up priority, which we'll get to in a second. Next question. A high pop-up is hit in between left field and center field. Both guys are calling it off. Who is the one who catches the ball? Is it A, the left fielder, or B, the center fielder? If you said B, the center fielder, then you would be correct. The center fielder has priority over the whole outfield. Okay, final question. The ball is hit straight up on the infield, and it's right over the pitcher's mound. But it's hit high enough that every infielder has a chance to come in. The first baseman's there. The second baseman's there. The shortstop's there. The third baseman is there. Who is it who has priority to catch that baseball? Is it A, the pitcher, because he's right on the mound? Is it B, the third baseman, because he has the best angle and he's the closest one to the mound? Or is it C, the shortstop, because he's the shortstop? If you said C, then the answer would be correct. Now, typically on this play on the mound, the third baseman will come in and have the best angle. But if it's hit high enough to where the shortstop is able to catch the ball and has a beat on it, and he's not already covering another base, then the shortstop has the ball, and that is because of the pop-up priority. I keep bringing up this pop-up priority thing and I think it's so important because so many times we've seen that play where the ball goes up and then it ends up falling right between three players who all could have caught it. This is because of miscommunication and what I'm about to share with you can eliminate these pop-up mishaps indefinitely for the rest of your career. So listen up kiddos, this is the pop-up priority. This chart right here and right here shows the pop-up priority. Now if you'll notice, center field has priority over all the outfielders, meaning if two outfielders call the ball off but the center fielder has a beat on it, then it's the center fielder's ball. But the outfielders all have priority over the infield, meaning if there's a play where an infielder's calling it off and an outfielder's calling it off, then as an infielder, you move out of the way immediately if the outfielder calls you off. Now, on the infield, middle infielders have priority over the corner infielders, so second base and shortstop will always have priority over the first baseman and the third baseman. This should clear up any mishaps on balls that go up in the air and say are right between the first baseman and the second baseman. Not sure who should catch it. Well, the second baseman should catch it, especially if they're both calling it off. So middle infielders have priority over the corner infielders. Now the corner infielders have priority over everyone else in the infield, meaning pitcher and catcher. This hierarchy of power should be kept in mind by all players on the field because if everyone on the field knows the hierarchy of power, then it's going to be a lot easier to communicate and know who should back off. If I'm the shortstop and I'm going after a ball that's in the infield and I know only infielders are going to be around the baseball, then the second that I call the ball off, it is mine no matter what. I don't care what anyone else on the infield says. It's my ball because I have priority. If I'm a second baseman and I'm going after a ball that's skied up the middle and I'm calling it off, I got it, I got it, I got it, and I hear the voice of my shortstop say I got it, then I back off, right? But if I'm the second baseman and I hear the ball go up and then I hear the first baseman try to call me off, no, I'm still getting the ball because I have priority. Now, every single baseball player should know this because if you keep this priority in mind and you know when to back off and when to assert dominance, then you'll always be in the right position to catch the ball and you'll never have that play that it falls between a bunch of players, okay? So know this pop-up priority, memorize it, and make sure that your team knows it as well. One final note on pop-ups that I'd like to make is that the ball is always yours until it's not. So many players tentatively go after the ball because maybe they know they're further down on the pop-up priority. And so they'll say, ah, I don't know if I should go after this or not. No, you should absolutely go after it or not. So let's say you're a first baseman and you're going after a ball that the second baseman maybe is going to be able to catch. Doesn't matter. You go after it 100% of the time and you go until somebody calls you off. Until you hear that second baseman call the baseball, that ball is yours. They could have tripped and fell. They might not see it. There are so many possibilities. So every single player on the field should assume, yes, this ball is mine unless somebody calls me off. But you have to know the voices of your position players so you know when to back off. Pop-ups are as simple as that. Knowing the priority, going after every single ball like it's yours, and then knowing when to back off based on the priority of the player. If you do those three things, then you should absolutely catch every single fly ball that goes in the air unless you just happen to drop it. That happens. But due to miscommunication, it should never happen. I make videos like this all the time. I'm Coach Rack. Let's grow.